Hello everyone, it's July 11th. Let's get dorky. A Japanese plant physiologist has turned a former Sony Corporation semiconductor factory into the world's largest indoor farm illuminated by LED lights. This thing is half the size of a football field, opened just this July, and already produces nearly 10,000 heads of lettuce per day. The 17,500 LEDs create a night and day cycle for the plants in order to accelerate growth. Lettuce inside this thing grows full of vitamins and minerals, but two and a half times faster than they would outside. Water usage is also cut just to 1% of the amount used in outdoor fields. This is pretty great. If we could start doing this in the US, you know? No weeds, a climate controlled system with the watering. I want to eat that lettuce. If you knew, and I'm talking to men and women here, of a device that you could turn on and off to keep you from unwanted pregnancy for up to 16 years, would you use it? A microchip implant by a company called Microchips from Massachusetts has developed a tiny, see how tiny? Computer chip that is implanted into the upper arm, abdomen, or buttocks and releases a daily amount of levonorgestrel as birth control. Craziest part, if the female decides to deactivate it, she could do so just by electronically shutting it off. That means no more monthly visits for more medicine, no trip to the doctor for removal. The technology could also be used for more medicines in the future, as like a time release or an on-demand supply of a certain medicine. I'll leave you with my thoughts. With all the research and tech going into birth control for women, why are we still seeing it just for women? Check out this lamp. Check out that lamp. It's a lamp that looks like a thunderstorm. I want this because... I'm only happy when it rains. For real though, this kind of looks like a bunch of fluff. There's both a lamp version and a ceiling light, which is what makes the prices vary so much. It's 500 to 2,000 euros. The lamp uses motion sensors to detect your presence, then creates a unique lightning and thunderstorm dictated by your movement. The system also comes with a powerful speaker, so you can stream music, like perhaps I'm only happy when it rains. via Bluetooth. Samsung's VR headset, Gear VR, made the news this week with some leaked images one really cool thing about the headset is it's supposed to have a see-through button where instead of having to take the gear off to see the world around you, and you know, remember you're not gonna throw up, you can just press that to see normal. It's also supposed to work in conjunction with your Galaxy device. You lock it onto the dock and with Bluetooth you are connected. It should be pretty competitive to the Oculus Rift and Sony's Project Morpheus but I think because you bring your own smartphone into the mix, that means it should take away some of the priciness. I don't know, I'm just guessing. We all know that telekinesis is real, <laughs> but now it can happen to you if you have Google Glass because Mind RDR has been created for people to control their glass using their own thoughts. For people with medical conditions like locked-in syndrome or severe MS, this gives a great opportunity for people to interact with the world in a way they never could. The person just wears this headband, and of course their Google Glass, and electrical signals in the brain are picked up by the sensors and sent to the glass via Bluetooth. Then the corresponding app works in its own algorithmy way to find peaks in activity, which could command like a yes or a no. I just thought that was really cool. We're getting closer to telekinesiying. Mm -hmm. I hate when I do that. It's just so hard to watch, isn't it? Thank you for watching anyway, and have a really good weekend. Please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you feel if you feel like doing that. <laughs>